Hi guys, I'm very excited to show you in this lecture how to manipulate the layers to be able to create some kind of sequence within your animation and it's gonna become quite good. First of all, let's make this one a bit bigger. I will select all my layers, I press Ctrl A and twirl it up. You see now they are all closed. Now let's look at our animation. Pretty fine, but now if you notice, let's start with coffee and shop. We want a coffee, these are the three layers here. We want coffee, the coffee shop. We want D to come first, fine. Coffee to delay a bit and shop to delay a bit more. If you notice, I'm moving the layers. So all you have to do is to click and drag the layer to bring it inside and then it will delay in the time. If you choose the three layers, press U, you will notice now the keyframes are coming to the inside. Notice how it's happening now. It comes now, let's delay more shop. Okay, and let's play the animation. Nice, you notice it's totally changing. Of course I could play with the keyframes, but this is a better method. Now, if I want to make it faster, all I have to do is to change the keyframes. So notice, for the speed of the animation, I will use the keyframes. That's my method. If I want to delay the animation within the composition, then I will move the layers in and out the way I want it. So fine, this is done. Now, after it comes here, I don't want always to appear you know, at this level here. I want this to settle, the coffee shop to settle, then always will start appearing. So I will go to always here and I move the layer. I can look, press U and look at the keyframes. I move the layers and maybe make this one a bit faster to see exactly how it's going to go. You notice now the coffee shop always comes in. Nice, not bad. As soon as it's settled, always has come in. Yeah, I'll delete a bit. Now, after always is done, I want this circle to start growing as soon as always has been there. Now, meet you there is in the middle, but it's okay. I want the circle to start animating just when always is starting. So when it's at this point, I want the circle to start. So I'll move the circle here and let's see, not bad. Now, premium and quality have to come after the circle is almost halfway here. Display. Cool. Now the stars, we are going to stay star one and star two and move them after the circle. Here you are. Not bad. We are left with the last one, meet you there. I'm gonna take meet you there and put it at the end. Let's see. Cool. So you see, without having a lot of trouble with the keyframes, we have animated and sequenced our animation in a certain way that now looks much nicer. Of course here the options are tremendous and what I would like you to do is to look at the animation now. You notice how the sequence affected the look of all the animation. Still this meet you there is bothering me, it's in the middle. I'm gonna take it and put it on top. The reason is this is the last layer I'm animating. So the first layer I will animate is the background layer actually is not animated. Let's animate the background layer. I will open position or maybe scale and look at the anchor point where it is. Let's bring it to its corner. And after very few frames, let's say six frames, I want it to be here, I come here and in the beginning I'll make it zero. So now it will appear. It's not, not convenient because it's really over the coffee shop. Notice, that's not good. So what I will do, I will select all the other layers and just move them a bit using the V, that is the selection tool from here. Let's see now our animation. Fine, cool. The last thing we want to do is to introduce the blur. Now this one will enable motion blur and will give you a totally different look and it's really nice. So I will enable the blur in the composition, select all my layers that are already selected and click on the blur. For one of them, it will give blur for all of them. Of course, I could have gone and clicked on each one of them. 
So this is how to set the blur. You first set it for all the layers, then set it for the composition. Notice now what's happening. It's giving a blur for the speedy animations. The coffee shop is blurred. Speedier gives you more blur. Let's watch this in full screen, and this is the final stage. I will come to the re review here and click on full screen and make sure I am at 100%. Come back here, stop the animation, go to the beginning and play on full screen. Here you are. That's the animation we have created together. Now, the most important thing is for you to come back, take the same files and create your own animation with your own skills that you have learned now. If you have any questions, please post them in the Q&A section in the dashboard of this course. Thanks for listening and I will see you in the next lecture where I will present for you your challenge.